Hi folks, I'm JD Pyatt with Icotech Game Calls. Welcome to the online tutorial video for downloading and programming your Icotech Outlaw or Icotech Night Stalker. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the tutorial for loading sounds to your Icotech Outlaw or Night Stalker game calls using a Mac version computer. Previously, it was an issue using a Mac because Mac hard drives would attach a ghost file to the file when it transferred from the hard drive of the computer to the SD drive of the caller. But we have since figured out there's a second party app called Clean My Drive 2 which is up here. I'm going to have to click on it and show it to you. Uh, the Clean My Drive 2 runs on your computer in the background. You don't have to do anything with it other than install it and allow it access to your external and internal computer drives. So that SD card being an external drive, once you plug it into your computer, Clean My Drive 2 will recognize it after you've set the properties to allow it access anytime you make changes to that SD card. Uh, it will clean off those ghost files. Those ghost files previously attached to the sound files when transferred to the SD cards to the callers would corrupt the cards and things would not work properly. So we've got this Clean My Drive 2 on my Mac system. Uh, it was a quick download and to be honest I don't even realize it's there and working. We do have information on our website along with a link, which I will take you there now. See in the information bar up top, we have a link for downloading sounds via Mac computer. If you click on that, it will take you to a page that runs you through what I'm explaining now. It also has the link to the App Store to go to and download this Clean My Drive 2. So it is a must have on your computer when using a Mac and downloading sounds. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is create a folder on our desktop to store the sounds that we download from the Icotech Free Sounds Library. Give them a place to store. So I'll go up, create, I'm still in Safari. Go up, create a new folder. I'm going to name it Icotech GCX Sounds. GCX comes from the sounds are encrypted into a .gcx format, so that's why I named it GCX. Okay, we have our folder created. It's on our desktop. Let's go ahead and go to the Icotech website. Go to the Sound Library tab, and you'll see the first two links pertain to the Outlaw and the Night Stalker. First tab being a preview sounds page where we have short sound samples available that you can click on and listen to to decide whether or not they are sounds you would like to download. I'd suggest having a pen and paper available. When you do listen to them, decide those are ones you want, jot down the name of it because you're going to end up going to a separate link to get access to that library. Go ahead and click on the download free sounds link. And it'll take you to the next page where we're going to enter our first and last name along with our email address. And we'll click submit. Two things will happen after you enter this information. First being the website will take you to a, a thank you page for registering to download free sounds from Icotech. Next thing is it's going to send you an email from Icotech Info. And in this email, it's going to contain the password that is required to get into the library through Dropbox. 
and that password being icotech1 all lowercase and then you will also have the live link to access the sound library you'll see that it takes us to the password required page where I will enter icotech1 and click continue now I am in the outlaw nightstalker.gcx file sound library from Icotech. Where you see all the sounds we downloaded in 2018 are stored in this folder. All other sounds that we have available already come on the caller with the 240 that are included. So for the GCX library it's it's only anything that we've recorded after the release of the caller so for this video I'm going to choose the Apollo house and Apollo invite and how I will do that is to the left hand side of each sound file you'll see these empty boxes I'm going to click on it to check mark it but you see it turns it blue highlights it and I'm going to highlight the second sound so these are the two sounds I'm going to download and add to my Night Stalker got them highlighted I'll click download and you will see the download start I'll click on that download and there is a folder containing the two sounds that we just downloaded so I am going to minimize and minimize and then bring back up this oh wrong one bring back up safari move it to the side i'm going to click hold down and drag that into actually i'm going to put it on my desktop minimize this out of our way i'll open up this folder there's our two sounds Apollo House and Apollo Invite. Now I know on my Night Stalker I have 295 sounds. So I'm going to name this first one, rename it, adding the three digit numbers 296, and then the second one will be 297. Okay, so now our sounds are downloaded from the Icotech library. They're renumbered. I'm going to highlight both of them. And I'm going to drag them into my folder and drop them. This folder I no longer need, so I'm going to place it in the trash bin. Double check. Both sounds are in the folder. Both sounds are numbered. They are ready to add to my caller. So I'm going to connect my call. Okay, now my call has been connected to my computer. My Mac places the drive on my desktop, names it No Name. Open up No Name, and as you can see, my sound files. This is drive one of my caller. And here we have 295 sounds. So I'm going to add to drive one these first two sounds. drag through them and I'm going to place them into my folder okay both sounds are added as you can see when you do this with the Mac it just places them where you let go of them whereas a Windows computer will actually add them in line so I'll go up and go to my view clean up by name and it'll place them at the bottom for me. Okay, now with the Night Stalker and the Outlaw, this process of adding to the drive has to be done to drive one and drive two. Your two drives have to be identical. So anything you do to drive one, you have to do to drive two. So I will eject drive one. As you can see, clean my drive two. 
has prompted me that it was ejected and can be removed. So I'll unplug drive one, and then I've got to plug into drive two. And as you'll see, I did this process once, and those two sounds are there. So drive one and drive two on my caller are identical, so that my two sounds option will work with my remote control properly. Okay, now that we've got sounds added to drive one and drive two, we are ready to update our remote. Okay, now that we have successfully added a couple sounds to our caller, this, for example, is my Night Stalker. Works exact same for the outlaw as stated. We're going to update our remote now, transfer that information from the caller to the remote. Using the supplied cables that come with the caller, which is a standard auxiliary cable, stereo mode, um, 3.5 millimeter double end male jacks. So first thing we're going to do is plug into the sync port on the collar and turn the collar on. Then we will plug into the side of the remote and turn the remote control on. The remote and the collar will start communicating. You see it says updating and it's transferring those sounds from the collar to your remote control. And this will take a couple seconds. Then your remote will read data saving. Then it'll say send OK and flash. And then it'll show you your call list. At this point, shut them both back off, unplug, <clears throat> and let's test our sounds that we loaded. Apollo invite. Oh, there we go. We have successfully loaded a couple sounds to our game caller. Updated our remote. Now it's time to go hunting. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helps everybody become successful with their first try. And we're spending more time in the field hunting. Uh, need any further information? Send us an email service at icotech.com we'll be glad to help you out y'all have a great day icotech dead serious game calls and decoys